Hi, this is going to be my first review uh, on reviews on stuff on YouTube. Uh, I have here the Oceanus OCW300. This is the uh, black model which has the black dial and the black bezel ring. There's also a blue version that just has a chrome bezel ring. Uh, this watch is um, all titanium. Um, only comes in titanium uh, band. And uh, this is also a solar atomic watch, which all Oceanus models are currently. Um, just wanted to show you kind of the outside of it first. Uh, it's just pretty much a standard analog digital watch. Has a nice uh, titanium band with your classic, you know, opening clasp here. And I uh, just wanted to show you some of the features of this watch. Um, currently we're in time mode. Uh, it shows the analog and time and the uh, date as a day of the week and day of the month. Um, this watch comes from Japan. It's currently only available in Japan. And when you get it, it shows for the day of the week, it shows a uh, Japan uh, character for that day of the week. Um, you can set the digital display to show um, a few different things. You can have it set the way I have it now, or you can have it have the receiving indicator along with the seconds. Um, this is the receiving uh, signal that it had when it received the signal uh, probably sometime this morning. And then you can display the digital time. Uh, this watch is kind of interesting. It has a inverse or negative display for the digital display. Uh, it's kind of hard to read uh, in low light conditions, but you know, generally uh, it's fairly easy to see. Uh, this button down here is called receiving. It allows you to see when the last reception, successful reception was. Uh, 12.04 this morning, uh, today. Now I just want to go over some of the modes here. Uh, first mode, it just shows you the battery level, uh, the charge. This is world time, uh, pretty standard world time. Uh, just shows you on the digital display. Uh, this is the alarm and hourly time signal setting. You can uh, scroll through it with this receiving button. And it has three alarms, which is kind of nice. It has a stopwatch. It pretty much is uh, your standard stopwatch. Push that button to start. You can do a lap or a split time here. And you hit that to stop, and then this to reset it. It's got a handset mode, allows you to align the analog hands to the digital time. That way, uh, when you get an atomic uh, update, it will keep both the analog and the digital time synchronized. And that's pretty much it. Uh, this, mode, this watch has uh, a beep on the mode button that you cannot turn off, which uh, is kind of annoying, but uh, it's not that loud of a beep, so I guess that's okay. Um, the other interesting thing about this watch that I haven't seen on any other Oceanus watches um, is this one actually has a uh, backlight that lights up the analog hands. Um, most watches like this usually only light up the digital display, which if you're not displaying the time, it's kind of annoying. So I just wanted to show you that. It's an amber light, and the LED is down here uh, at the 6 o'clock position. Uh, I'm going to have to turn off my light so you'll be able to see it. It does a pretty good job of, of lighting up the screen. And it's kind of hard to see here with this camcorder, but you can get the general idea. 
it's uh, actually pretty bright. Well, that's uh, the end of my review. Uh, stay tuned. I hope to have some reviews of other things on here. Probably not only watches. Uh, this is a recent, uh, I guess, the collection for me. So, anyway, thanks.